Wait until you see these insane creatures from Poppy Playtime 3 and I saved the best one for last. Today we watch his little baby catnap here transforms and evolves into this gigantic colossal monster. And we also see if catnap can withstand some brand new firearms. Yes, this is a firearm. What the heck? Oh, hi. Welcome back to Melon Sandbox. This is me. Look at me. Oh, yeah. Uh, today we get to watch as uh, uh, it's going to be a little different than normal. We're going to put Catnap through some pretty vigorous testing because you see, Catnap, uh, I've got a bunch of new weapons that I must uh, introduce you to. But first, look into my eyes and tell me how awesome I am. The thing is, each weapon gets more and more intense as time goes on like this little thing right here is a i think it's called a, maybe it's a railgun pistol or something i don't know let's see what it does oh <gasps> wait a minute yeah catnap was a real thing <laughs> i thought it was a like a machine oh what the heck is this weapon oh my goodness look at this it's like the fastest firing thing maybe closest to that satellite thing oh don't worry, Catnap, you have you can come back to life. Sorry, that thing is the cyber gun. This is the railgun pistol. Looks a little different, right? Uh Catnap's back. <laughs> he means business. He is very, very upset. He's like full on like teenager catnap now. And he's standing up, which is weird. Look at how look at how gross he looks. What's more amazing is that this is like pixel detail. Like, look at those, look at those ribs right there. Man, it's so weird and he even has like knee bones and everything. Anyway, let's see what the uh, the railgun pistol can do, shall we? Because this thing looks pretty... I hope it charges up. Let's see. Oh! It's just a single firing shot, but apparently this catnap is made of watermelons inside. Oh, let me try that again because uh, that was a... One giant green bolt. And it is... That just bounced off. Look at the penetration! Oh, the, oh, what the? His leg! His watermelon catnap leg is gone! Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, the railgun pistol is pretty devastating. Don't worry. Like I said, catnap can come back. Which she's going to right now. Yo, can we get this voted on already? Can we get this? I, I like the acid map. But, like, in all reality, I also like the lava map a lot. And I kind of... I kind of want the lava map now. I, I want to change my vote. Okay, catnap is changed again. He looks very weird now. Totally different than the last one. Ooh, got some big old nice spiky claws. He's got a nice little pixel tail. Oh, he's got some nice little toenails going on. He hasn't cut them in a while, and so they're getting pretty long. <laughs> anyway, I thought about waiting to do this, but I thought, you know what? Let's just go for this freaking dragon gone. Uh, this is from, I guess, what is it? Gehenna Free Fire or whatever it's called. That one, anyway, it's like an AK. Dude, I can't even, I can't even hold, I can't even hold this thing. It's weird. Okay, I froze it in place. Now let's see what it does. It better be awesome. It's an AK, so it might not be. Oh, man. It's spitting out, it's spitting out like purple, purple bullets though. But it's just a plain old ordinary AK. That's, I mean, pretty devastating, uh, obviously, but it's, I mean, it looks cool. That catnap's back, and we got ourselves a nice, uh, railgun, full-size railgun, no longer just the pistol version. So, let's see what this does. I have to imagine it's even more powerful. I wish you could charge up weapons in this game. What the heck? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my no way hold on we have to take a time out we need to get ourselves a whole bunch of melons up in here we need to find out how many melons can withstand this railgun blast oh what the heck some of my fruits and vegetables are gone L literally there's six of them now there's only three I, I what happened to them they disappeared on me i got a whole bunch of them i got a whole bunch let's see what happens three two one Oh my, it does charge a little bit. Dude, hold on, I gotta I gotta put it in slow motion. Do it again. Yo, why is it not firing? Why won't it fire? Does it need to like recharge or what? Hurry up. Is it ready now? There it goes. Oh 
my. That, this weapon is so powerful. This is where things get interesting, because we've moved from living creatures into giant hideous monster abominations, and we're gonna test out the weapons, like this thing, the Wrath of the Commander, out against the giant, dude, I can't even look at him, giant mutated huge freaking catnap of doom. Seriously, he's lagging. If I look at him, it lags. Will this will this weapon actually work on him? What does this thing do? It says the one shot can change the tide of battle, so it better be amazing. What? What? I mean, sounds like it's powerful. Whoa, it's catching on fire! What the heck? Wait, we have to see if the- maybe the railgun? Can the railgun pierce through it? Maybe the railgun's powerful enough? Why is that thing on fire? Oh no. Is it literally- Oh, it might be like immune to to damage, but but we can probably crush a melon with them, right? Why is it so laggy? Oh no, we're gonna eat you. Blah, blah. What the heck? He's like, in, he's like invincible. Can't even be, can, can you even, wait, what? He has no collision. Do we need to turn a collision off? That's maybe, maybe the collision's off. There's a good chance that what I just did is gonna make this thing freak out. Uh, I turned collision back on, so I think now we'll check out the railgun and see what happens. Please don't- Oh no, it's derping. It's totally derping. I just want to shoot it. That's it. Shoot! Shoot! Oh no, did I break my game? I think my game crashed. Yep, it totally crashed. <laughs> it can't- it can't handle it. So, uh, let's just go ahead and- You know what, I'm gonna get this catnap back out. And we have to test out these other weapons, because I have other ones. And we can't just like not not try them out. And so let me find some, oh yeah, like this right here, the PFK gun two? The heck is this? My eardrums, I'm now deaf. <laughs> I sound like that one guy. Hey, emotional damage. Here we go. That, okay, take it back. That is the most powerful weapon I've, this, I've seen in this game. Th that's beyond... That's beyond anything we've seen. I mean, that's... The, the, the satellite's not even near this level. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna obliterate these things in two seconds. What the heck? My goodness. That's insane. <laughs> People are like, you know what? That weapon's powerful. But we need to make we need to, we need to make another one more powerful more powerful. So we make the noisy cricket from Men in Black. That's the most powerful. I have so many weapons now. I wish it like sorted by like newest, which you could sort by new. So then that way you could be like, you know, yeah, this is the one I just downloaded because I have no idea. I've got like a million of them now, and so who knows what I've done? <laughs> oh, here's one. Energy auto rifle. That's nice. Let's see. I I I know I have another one. There's a freaking anti-tank gun I downloaded. Let me see if I can find it. Dude, where where is it? Okay, so it's not in here. It's probably in the cake in this area. Sometimes it puts in this area. I don't know why. Anti-tank. There's a laser cannon. Maybe we can just type in anti... No, what? Where is it? It didn't load! Okay, whatever. We don't need it. Let's just try this. Whoa! Wow, the recoil on this is insane! Yikes! Look at that drum, the drum maggot has. That is so loud, and it is pretty powerful. It doesn't shoot nearly as fast though, but it's clearly capable of obliterating catnap. I think we should see what the next catnap evolution is. Oh, this one's a giant behemoth too! So here's his little legs, my little toes tickle you with this- Oh, this one you can- This one might have- Oh, this one's got collision. Yeah, look at this. Look at this tail. Look how long this tail is. Wow. And then check him out. Oh, yeah. What is this green? He's got like a green collar on. Anyway, this one looks like it has uh, some some collision. So maybe we can crush our... Why is he jumping around like that? Dude, catnap. Oh, no. He's getting squished. <laughs> oh, jeez. You heard it. I heard it. So does that mean I can actually blast this thing? Let me see. I wish I... Hold on. I want to see if I can find that anti... Let's see. Tank. Tank. And we're going to go to... This is what I like about this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So nice. 
Okay, where's the tank at though? I definitely typed in tank, did I not? Tank? Tank? There it is. Oh, right, I, I had to buy it. So I didn't download it. That's unfortunate. Anyway, I don't want to buy things. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's a sn Do I have another weapon? Like, do we just use a big weapon on this guy? Where's that laser gun at? The laser cannon. It's in here, right? Yeah, the laser cannon. This'll be- this'll be nice. Oh, an ad! I actually didn't think there were ads anymore. Like, since the workshop came out. Anyway, let's see what happens. Boom! Oh, man! I forgot how powerful the laser cannon is, too. I don't know which one's more powerful. This thing's pretty devastating, but that freaking purple thing- Oh, my gosh! It, everything's gone. Ha <laughs> ha Disintegrated catnap into oblivion. Which means, since catnap is completely obliterated, he can evolve into his final form. Oh yeah, his final form you've seen before. Nightmare catnap. Oh yeah. He's like... Actually, how big is he compared to him? Uh, this one. Oh! He's actually smaller. But... Not purple. Ah, that's okay. Dude, freaking catnap. What a weird, what a weird creation. Well, the sandbox might be one of the best games that I've ever played. And this right here is Melon. And this right here is Miss Circle. I don't know what this is. Is this a weapon of some kind? Oh my, I don't actually know too much about this. Is this some gigantic syringe fist? That's very, that's very, very dangerous. You, you uh, are not in for a good time, Melon. So let, let us see what this does. Does it, uh, cause some puncturing of any kind? <gasps> Not exactly. Not exactly. Melon, you know, Melon, he's got some, some bruising going on. He's still edible, though. She, on the other hand, I'm not quite- wait, can this fire? No, I'm not quite certain if she's okay. She, maybe she's, like, playing like she's- Then Okay, oh, Melon. This circle is pretty cool, but you know what? I've got some even greater things today. Do you know what Apple's biggest fear is in life? <laughs> It's not being eaten. It's 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 actually big dragons that fly through the air. Look at this crazy thing. It's fl somehow floating. I don't really understand how that's happening, but it is a dragon, so I guess that makes sense. And then I guess it's got the one dude. He's trying to eat you. <laughs> he's trying to eat you already. I guess his biggest concern is being eaten and being eaten by dragons, and uh, that's exactly what's happening. Ugh! He's somehow still like together and not in a bunch of. Oh, there he goes. There he. There you go. So I've got a lot of really giant creatures today, and uh, this is the first one, and it's very long. I don't really understand how it's flying though. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I wish it breathed fire though. You guys seem to really like Bubba Elephant. And so today, I thought what we'd do is we'd showcase his friend again, Bubba Bear Hug, which is like a crazy looking catnap thing, which I wanted to just like put these two together because I realized I didn't do that last time where I kind of put them next to each other. Look at are there any other cool characters like this? Bubba wants to eat some oh it's so laggy. Cord he wants to eat some popcorn. This was this one. What the heck was happening? What's happening? Corn is destroyed. I I pause pause the game. So corn, as I'm saying, he uh, disappeared somehow. I don't really understand. But when something touches Bubba Bear, maybe it's best to just like clear everything. When when Bubba Bear hug touches anything, he like infects them. Also, I'm just now realizing that I've been calling him Bubble Bear Hug instead of Bobby Bear Hug. <laughs> I don't know why. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Watch. Ready? He touches him. Oh, he didn't actually do it that time. He's. Oh, there, there it happened. See it? No, then he freaks out. Every time, every time he infects somebody, he freaks out. Look, there's a little black square. You see it, right? Okay, we're done. Okay, instead of playing with literally the most unstable creation ever known to man, I think it's time to move up to something a little bit bigger. It's... Godzilla. Oh yeah, look at him. And uh, guys, I found the greatest creation ever made. It might be my new favorite mod. Uh, it's not Godzilla though. It is Foothead. <laughs> He's a foot and a head. Does he have two feet? He's got two feet. So he's a leg head. More like... <laughs> Look at him. He is the derpiest looking thing I've ever seen in my life, but I love him. Isn't he so... He's just delightful. We need like a whole army of these guys. It'd be so great. Anyway, this is Godzilla. And uh, Godzilla, he's got a couple of things. He's got this big... Whoa! Okay, jeez. He can stomp him out. No, he can't stomp him out. Okay, apparently not. But he does have big claw... Oh, jeez. 
He just smacked. What the? He just breathed fire. Wait a minute. He's breathing fire over here. Okay, the point was to use these little blades and oh, he can totally just obliterate them with no problem. What the heck? Oh, what? How is that happening? What is going on? Wait, oh my. I don't know if it, it's coming from his hands too. Is he on fire? What? What is occurring? Why is that doing? I lifted down on his face and then it activated. Is there some kind of like trigger or something? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me get something else. We need more things. We need more of these guys. Don't, don't, no. Ah, he caught on fire. Okay, I freeze the top part of his mouth. So now, let me zoom in a little bit. Now if I do it. Yeah. Now if I do it. Yeah. That is so cool. I had no idea you could even do that. Let's do it again. Back here. Yeah. Burnt apple. Oh, that's got to taste gross. Who wants burnt apple? You tell me who's more creepy. This crazy looking melon thing. Right? We've seen him before. He's a me virus melon. Right? Look at his head. It's all like eaten away. Or this thing right here, which is apparently called the spithead, which I don't even know what that is. But look, he's got a bunch of teeth. And I'm pretty sure that all these little white spots up here are supposed to be eyes. And this is Banana. And Banana has a brand new weapon today. It's called the Atom Guitar. I don't know what that is. Is that like Adam from like Marvel or what? Anyway, uh, Adam, the gu Adam guitar, I don't know what it does, but it's a, it's apparently a, uh, a firearm, <laughs> which I would not expect that to be a firearm, but let's see what it does. We're going to eliminate these creepy things in three, two, one. What? No. Uh, there, they just got completely zapped. What did it even do? I mean, what is happening? It's turning them to ash. And then, not only that, but it's got some crazy noise going on. Is it charging up? Here, let's try it again. Can I slow, let me slow, let me slow it down? Here we go. Yeah, uh, whoa, okay. It's shooting out some kind of orb of some kind. It looks as though it is actually a whole bunch of bolts or something at the same time. Oh, did you see it go flying? Okay, what the heck? We need to test the power of this thing and see how many bananas, sorry, how many bananas it can go through. I know we're, you know, I know banana, this banana doesn't make sense. These are, these are angry, evil bananas that want to eliminate the good banana. And so the good banana has equipped the sword weapon thing to fire upon the other bananas. Seems like enough bananas. Let's see what happens, shall we? Oh! Oh, it went through all of them. Completely took all their legs and made... Some of them are turned into skeletons. So, banana cores? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I don't know if you should be eating a banana that has a core. That just... That's not a banana. This is Melon. Melon has been getting a beat up and hurt by this mob of angry grapes who are completely jealous that everyone really loves melons but some people don't like grapes or they at least don't like purple grapes. Melon is tired of being beat up and so he's called his friend Mel One, the warrior class of melons, equipped with a brand new weapon and very, very very dangerous. Look, he even has wings. And he has the Atomic Blaster. I, I think uh, it might be capable of uh, destroying some grapes. I have no idea what the Atomic Blaster does, but he has come to defend the melon. You can see, you know, he's got some melon stuff on, but he also has armor. And he's got his cool little space helmet. And then the wings obviously help him fly around. But he uh, is more interested in eliminating some grapes. Rapes. So let's see what happens. Oh, what? Apparently, this is a new weapon that has not yet been tested because Mel One has been. Um, he'll be. He'll be okay. Let's try that again, shall we? And this time in slow motion. Here we go. In three, two, one. What the heck? Utterly. A. Um, uh, what was that noise? Oh my. Oh, and you could just hold it down. Oh, this might be one of the most 
extreme weapons we've ever seen. It's so intense, it sets itself on fire. First, I thought this was like, oh, Master Chief, you know, some kind of Halo dude wearing, but it's actually the Doom guy. Look, he's got the whole Doom, Doom armor on. And normally, uh, Peach would be terrified of Doom because Peach is kind of a scaredy cat in general, but not today because Peach has a brand new weapon. Tis the plasma gun made, um, let's say, from his friends that have gone before him and given their juice life. It's the same color, so we'll go with it. Anyway, let's see what uh, happens with the plasma thing, shall we? All the other ones have been intense, so I'm assuming this one will be as well. Okay, um, not so much as I thought. Just kind of a actual right, like, machine gun of sorts, but pretty cool. You know, I wait for the day where this game has the ability to create, like, charge-up weapons and even, like, slime weapons that eat things away, kind of like Teardown has. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome to see. It was just a normal afternoon day in the wasteland of the apocalypse when uh, Acid Melon here decided to take a break. He saw some water and thought, oh, a lake, I haven't seen a lake in ages. And so he was coming to get a drink and uh, he should have been paying attention though because out of the sand came a monster, the sandworm. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. It's huge! It's freaking worse than Tremors. You guys remember that old- I don't know. I mean, it might have just dated myself. But anyway, this is the Sandworm. Clearly equipped with gigantic spiky blade things and spikes all over his back. Not quite skilled at eating- Oh, he's trying. Uh, dude, Melon, he fell in- Oh, what the heck? Okay. Uh, he's- he, He's gone. <laughs> Anyway, normal, ordinary melon, I mean, was here at the side and he was trying to get some water. Dude, every time he tries, he just like punches him. And oh yeah, he's, he can go in the water and out. He's very brutal. But uh, the real question I have is, since, oh, come back, since, oh, no, come back. Oh no, it's drowning. Can't do well in the water. Maybe it can swim a little bit. Yep, yeah, maybe just, maybe just a tad. Uh, okay, he's coming out. Uh, the real question I have though is, if I put Melon out here, and I drag Melon into these... Oh yeah, they totally do. We're gonna make some smoothie tonight! Okay, well, that's it. There's lots of big stuff. I've got more things, but I'll do that next time. And look at the watermelon juices rain down. Uh-oh, a brand new terrifying creature has come to Melon Sandbox. Melon is very confused. There is a brand new fruit in the game, and he doesn't quite know what to think of it. It's not a melon. It's not a pumpkin. It's not a cherry or a dragon fruit or a pineapple. No, it's multi-fruit. <laughs> And I don't quite understand what's going on. Now, let me explain. He's got some stuff. This is like a cactus thing right here, right? And then, is that freaking corn? Why is there corn on him? And then what happened to his jaw? Where did it go? Anyway, Melon is terrified. And so he got his handy dandy trident. <laughs> To, uh, to test and see what kind of juices are inside of them. So let's go ahead and give them a poke, shall we? Yeah. Um, what happened? Uh, I think maybe that trident has superpowers because that's not supposed to occur, okay? I don't know what just happened, but it just disintegrated this thing and now he's oozing like gray stuff. Let's test it a different way with a shotgun, shall we? See what, oh, okay. Oh yeah, that is, I mean, kind of makes sense, right? That it would be gray or brown or something because you mix all the colors together and you get nasty brown or nasty gray, I guess. And uh, that's what's happening. That's gross, Don't don't eat that. I got this thing called Angler Claws and I thought it was a weapon. No, it's an actual freaking creature and it is crazy looking. It's like some kind of sea serpent type of thing or something. I don't even know. A couple questions. We got to find out what's inside of them. And then two, I want to test that trident against some other people. So let's go ahead and let's get our most powerful weapon we possibly can. Hmm, what should we get? How about the melon gun? That's not powerful, but it is pretty good. <laughs> it complete. I forgot that it did that. It's shooting crazy bullets out of his butt. 
And that's what's happening. It just turned into nothing. It just disintegrated. He's purple though on the inside. And so that's that's good to know. But well, here's an apple, okay? And here is the trident. We need to test it again and see what happens. Let me just poke him in the leg. It totally does. It completely disintegrates people and eats their flesh in their body. Com okay, wow. That is that is just crazy. Like oh this oh we got some resistance here on this one. But man, that that just totally disintegrated his body. I've got a problem. I've got so many amazing creatures for so many videos, and I can't, I, I don't know what to show first, but I, I think I'll show this one in this video. This is called GMWD, and it is a gigan gigantic, that's a word, like bipedal walker thing with the biggest freaking weapons I've ever seen, and needless to say, we're gonna take a whole bunch of little fruits and watch as this thing just com completely destroys him. Okay, there's a couple melons down. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, he has a grenade launcher and an MG. The MG, oh, I wish it changed size. Okay, it, the MG doesn't, but the grenade launcher definitely does. It's huge, the grenade is huge on this thing. Oh, if I could just, you know, if I could just hit, if I could just hit him, just one time, that'd be really great. If you could stop moving. Okay, I froze him in place. Oh, great, he broke. Well, at least we uh, made some melon smoothie and destroyed some melons. This melon's going flying through the air. Yeah, things got pretty crazy very quickly. This is Banana Cat. We saw him last time. Look at him, he's cute. <laughs> he actually moves and stuff. He's an actual being. And this is Melon Robot, a brand new robotic creature with a crazy looking like knife arm thing. And we need to test if Banana Cat can get poked. Oh, Banana Cat, you're okay. It's a banana and a cat together. So we got banana juices, making a banana sundae over here. Banana Cat is okay. He'll, he'll leave, to, there's, a clone, there's a whole bunch of them. If you don't know, there's like clones of them. Lot, lots of them, they're everywhere. Anyway, um, he's leaking oil and his knife thing actually works, which is a first, okay? Do you know how many times we've seen something with a hand that doesn't do anything? But this one actually, uh, like, like, goes into other things. Oh, wow, banana, you're, you're good. Do you know what Lemon is terrified of? It's not what you think. Being eaten is definitely one of them, but he's also scared of sharks. And uh, he's <laughs> he's also terrified of being eaten by big, gigantic Spinosaurus boys. <laughs> oh gosh, look at the size of this thing. Um, it doesn't make sense. You know, Spinosaurus is, they, they ate fish, okay? They lived in rivers and they ate fish, but they also maybe occasionally partook of some lemon. Why is it so laggy? But they like the fish, so he's eating the, sh the sharks, kind of. Not really. He doesn't know how to eat well. He's not very good at it. And see, he kind of sucks at eating. Let's see if he can poke him with his claw thingies. Nope, he can't. The claws never work, okay? How about if we freeze him in place so he stops freaking out on us? Because his, I think his weird butt tail over here is making everything be derpy. And let's raise up. Can I? There we That's it. That's what we want. That's how you eat right there. Okay. And we'll freeze it because you're going to watch what happens. And we'll put him like this. Okay. No. Nope. Ah, you were perfect. Just like that. Okay. No. Nope. Stay. Stay right there. We just need to freeze one little part of his body. His head, his head maybe, okay. And then we're gonna unfreeze that. And then when it resumes, should see spring action. Yum. Okay, that was the most anticlimactic thing ever. Did you eat, there you go. Yeah, that's how you eat. You wanna eat food? It's great, you're doing a great job, buddy. Poppy Playtime 3 has a whole bunch of characters and we've seen Catnap in this form, which is really creepy. We've also seen Catnap 
in this form, which is Nightmare Catnap, and he's gigantic. But now, there's a brand new thing that just came to the game. It's your good pal, Hoppy Hopscotch. Look, I'm freaking terrifying. Oh my goodness, this big old mitten claws of doom and his body. He also, he kind of freaks out. So we need to, we need to clear the board. We're gonna put him back down and hope that he doesn't go crazy. Okay, he definitely, okay, we're resuming it. We're gonna resume it. Let me get, let me get what guy. Here we go. There's a melon boy. Okay. Oh, here comes an ad. Okay. And hopefully he doesn't go crazy and fling all over the map. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Look at his hands. <laughs> oh, they're floating. Uh, pay attention to my hand. Don't look at my face because I'm about to eat you. Yeah, that's right. I wish that they did. They had more like claw thingies. More damage. Oh, he's straight. He could straight up eat people with no problem. What the, what happened? Why is Melon glowing now? You've been infected? Does Hoppy Hopscotch infect people? Oh no. Oh no. He freaked out. There goes Melon. <laughs> Melon's destroyed because it's like, have you ever seen the Mandalorian? Oh, I shouldn't give any spoilers. Anyway, he just shot through him at light speed over here and destroyed him uh <laughs> needless to say uh, hoppy hopscotch is gone and so is melon this is all that's left of him oh look there's a couple seeds flying through the air actually i got my shows mixed up it's not it's not a mandalorian it's, it's another movie but i'm not gonna say that too which i would imagine everybody has seen it by now but maybe they haven't i don't know there are kids kids are born kids grow up not everybody's seen things and so no spoilers over here because that's like the worst thing in the world to me that and hunger and injustice <laughs> lots of other things criminals felons you know those things well but, but that's all folks <laughs> that's the wrong rabbit and that's he doesn't the rabbit doesn't even say that right <laughs> is that porky the pig this is melon sandbox and it's time to see what kind of epic mods there are now oh my that's a dragon oh my i've downloaded so many mods i think my game might break this is plum there's a new fruit in town plum you want to know who it is it's grape but you know what grape isn't all that amazing looking and grape there's already another grape this grape is the better grape look at that grape he's even got some grapes on his grapes <laughs> he's very grape he's ready for some action and grape the old grape is uh mad at the new grape for coming into town and he has a special weapon this is the brand new apple gun look at that i don't know if it shoots apples i really hope it does it's gonna be amazing whatever it does is gonna be amazing i really hope it shoots apples please let it shoot apples hey, look it's got two apples on there here we go three two one Oh, it doesn't shoot apples, but uh, we found out pretty fast, though, that this thing makes some uh, juices come out of uh, the other grape. I think this grape's kind of weak sauce. This one is still going. Now, there is something going on here, though. We not fire this. I don't, I don't even know if... We'll, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to even be able to tell what's happening. Uh, I don't think we can see it. I thought it was shooting out apples but i actually don't think it is it's got like red bullets maybe they're tiny miniature apples i don't freaking know last time there was a mod that we didn't check out that i have to check out right now it's a new unit a new fruit it's called a glitch and this is what he looks like oh my he looks freaking sweet looking uh glitch has a new weapon too it's the desert eagle <laughs> golden gun oh man look at that I think Glitch might be one of my favorite units ever. What does the Golden Deagle do? Let's find out. Oh my, look at what happened to Watermelon's legs. It just blew off a massive chunk. Oh no. Here, let's, let's just, uh, we're gonna freeze his body in place right there. And then uh, let's go ahead and see what happens to his midsections once we unload. 
Look at how much gets destroyed. Oh, the juices are flowing. The seeds are spilling out. That is very brutal. Wow, I, so you can probably destroy this thing pretty easily. Well, um, the Golden Deagle might be one of the most impressive guns this game's ever seen. No. No, it's the piggy. It's piggy. Look at, look at, look at her. She's all in the game. Is she kind of floating? She's a little evil. Anyway, uh, uh, a pear? Is it a pear? Pear has one of the largest weapons that can be held. Uh, it's his brand new shotgun. And look, it's like breaking his back to hold it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna see what happens to good old- Look at the size of this thing! We're gonna find out what happens to Piggy once we unload. Hey, Piggy, Piggy, you got something for- Oh my! My game lagged! <laughs> No! We need to we need some we need to test against multiple fruits. How many fruits can this shotgun go through? Don't worry, Piggy's a fruit too. She's a what? Everything in this game's a fruit. It's not real stuff, okay? It's a watermelon. Anyway, how many fruits can it go through? We got two apples, a watermelon, a banana, gooseberry, got some cherries, a plum, a pomegranate, a lemon, and tangerine. Will it make it through all of them? Let's find out. This thing's insane. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, there's no, look, they're in half. It went through every single one. No way. That is, look at the power. These weapons are so powerful. I'm so glad there are powerful weapons in these mods now. Keep them coming. Let, let me, we got to test. We need more fruits. We got to see how, we got to see if we can go through like 20. Okay, we got 20 fruits. Here we go. Let's see if it'll go through all of them. I don't freaking know. It's pretty powerful though. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, oh, it's lagging hardcore. The juices are flying. It go. It went through all of them. All the fruits, it juices, everything. They went through them all. Wow. No video would be complete without some monsters. This is not one of them. This guy right here, if you can't tell by the thing up here, that's a straw. His name is Juicebox, and he is delighted to be in the desert with a giant purple monster. Hi. Uh, I think it's a grimace that's been mutated or what. It's just called Purple Strong, and it's some gigantic mammoth purple monster thing. He's 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 thirsty in the desert for a juice box, so he's gonna uh, suplex him, or uh, I guess body, no, what's a body slam when you pick him up and then smash him down? He's just gonna freaking like land on him until he squeezes all the juices out of him. He's He's got a little juice of his own kind of coming out, but he's okay. Uh, what I find interesting is clearly he's some kind of weird like purple, maybe it's like a flower. There's a flower, cactus flower. It's a big purple purple monster but he has got the like the snazziest looking purple shoes i've ever seen in the game on he's ready to go to a church or something Blah! this is a gigantic monster called stalker his arms are really long and gangly looking look at that look at look at that look at that thing look at that arm his legs are the same he's got the tiniest feet in the world and uh he is in the desert still about to attack where is it cactus cactus would normally be scared if it wasn't for the world's largest gun you've ever seen in your life it's the cactus gun look at the size of look at the size of this thing uh, how is he even holding it? It's obscene. What? Please. What does it do? This is the, these mods are. I'm so glad for this update, the workshop update. Let Let's see. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Okay. It just blasted him. What the? What is that? Like black liquid coming out of him. Oh, whoa, what happened to his body? I gotta, let me freeze this part. So he's hanging out. Look, he can't even, he can't even pick it up. Yeah, he's too, he's too, it's too freaking heavy. Okay, stand up straight, please. Here we go. Let's see what happens. It's like an MG. It's actually not anything amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, it is shooting out like green, green stuff though. I don't know if you can see that. 
is shooting out some kind of green cactus liquid. It also broke the cactus's arm. And, uh, yeah, it's... What in the heck? It just deflected off of him. Wait, why? Why did it do that? Ah, uh, poor cactus. That's why you shouldn't have massive... Oh, it looks like the, the, some part of the stalker is impervious to damage. That's kind of weird. That is... This is... This is the greatest weapon to ever grace this game, I think. This greed hair beauty is actually a tree. This is Tree Man. And he is, uh, normally, you know, you think trees are nice and safe, but this one is very dangerous. And, uh, some, for, for whatever reason, this all black individual, except for his eyes and his mouth, is here to, uh, stop the trees from evading. And he has a brand new weapon called the conk out gun. <laughs> like conk, like, you know, bopped on your head. Uh, look at that thing. I don't know what it does. It, I have a really awesome hope that this is some kind of like electric looking gun. And it's going to, we need that. Some kind of like plasma creator, not just like projectile bullets, but like something that you could charge up and stuff. Let's see what it does. What the heck? That is got like a spread of like a thousand rounds. Hold on. Wait a minute. We got to test this out. This thing's insane. I have so many mods. Like I could, this video could be like 19 minutes long, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I want to like still cover, you know, cover it, cover them and some of the other ones and other things. We got to get a buff melon. Oh yeah, the buff melon. We need a chicken and a cashew. I've got every single thing downloaded I possibly can. <laughs> There's another chicken. He has a cookie and a chocolate bar. Here's a corrupted pumpkin. He's, you know, he's looking, he's looking real nice. <laughs> <laughs> freaking weird pumpkin we got all we got, we got everything i've got everything you possibly need we got nuts fruits oh i forgot about mashed potato we gotta get mashed potato in here we got freaking darth maul yep darth maul it's lagging it's lagging hardcore why because you're here you shouldn't be in here i didn't put you in the game that's a lot of people but i don't think it's enough still we need even more so we'll get a couple chair we'll get a cherry or two we'll get the the weird melon dude okay it's it's lagging hardcore so i'm gonna have to stop now let's go ahead and let's bring it out there we go and we're gonna just see should we let's make something hold it who should hold it we need somebody unsuspecting corn <laughs> corn you get to test this insane weapon here we go three two uh, dude how do i even how do i even shoot this thing to make sure it hits everything <laughs> Oh my goodness, the lag. It, it the I think I might have crashed the game. It literally might have crashed. Oh, this is not good. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. This might be the, the single shot most powerful weapon that's ever been in this game. The space laser is insanely powerful, but for one single shot, I've never seen a weapon do that much damage. Oh, this is like fireworks. It's like fruit firework explosions. Oh, man. Oh, well, I have a lot of mods, plenty of mods, more mods we're going to check out and I'm going to download more next time and next time and next time. Oh, my. I almost forgot about like the main thing I wanted to show you. Melon, meet your good neighborhood. A uh, kitty cat. <laughs> this right here is uh, it's freaky catnap. <laughs> Look at the size of him. He's huge. Uh, what does he do though? Can eat him? Yeah, um, dude. Catnap is straight up. Oh my! Catnap is straight up eating this melon. What it? What a sight to behold. We've never seen catnap feast in the wild before, but we now have unique uh ability to see him in action. Okay, he, he clearly can't eat him, but can he like? Stomp on him or something. Oh, the why? Why? What is with the finger? What's with the weird finger thing going on there? That's just freaking creepy. It's like, hey, let me, uh, let me tickle your neck a little bit with my weird little finger thing. He's eating them. Okay. Yep. It's over. Oh no. A new terrifying monster has come to the game. Normal 
Only if you encountered a unit that was made of lava and on fire and named the Knight from Hades, you would be very scared. But Apple is not, because Apple has this brand new fancy, look at this thing, it's called the 50CM, and I'm not quite sure what it does. Let's see how powerful this truly is. Let's start with the kneecap, shall we? What the freaking heck? <laughs> Wait. It literally, this is why I go, whoop, there goes Apple. This is why I normally go against the wall so that body parts don't go flying everywhere. But oh, oh no, it rebounded. And now Apple is Apple sauce. We need to test the power. And so let's see how many bananas this thing can go. Oh, hey, banana cat. How many bananas this thing can go? That <laughs> guy's missing some legs. It can go through, shall we? Okay, it's a lot of bananas. Let's check it out. And here we go, and... Did you see that? Uh, it shot and the bullets were over here on the side <laughs> by this heap of bananas before it even, like, made sense. It's uh, quite ins... Look at that! Do you see the shot coming out first? Let's slow it down, and... And... You see, there's a shot that happens and it, it was over here before anything happened. Blueberries in the snow, because why not? This right here is the ban hammer and the ban hammer uh they say it can be thrown i'm not i mean like this okay obviously that works but like it also apparently can be fired so let's see what happens <gasps> what the heck it was a literal bomb and why why did he change colors why is blueberry now green wait what just happened got a bunch of blueberries and the freaking why is it a bomb <laughs> it makes no sense. They're all green. I don't get it. Is that what they look like when they're dying? This is the that's the weirdest weapon I've seen in this game. I think I think we have a melon sandbox first This guy is literally floating What the heck his name is Ron Ronobox Ron Robox Ron Robox it's like a robe Sounds like a Roblox guy. Ron Roblox? What are you, you got a bunch of Robux in your pocket? I don't understand. He's crazy looking though. He's got like, he's definitely like from the future. Normally, you know, Cherry would be concerned. Ha ha ha, but Cherry has got the world's largest hand powered rail gun you've ever seen. Look at this insane weapon. Now I'm sure most of you know this, but I have one wish that I really want in this game, and that's to charge up weapons. But this looks like it could probably go through an entire city block. Let's see what happens. That might be the most disappointing thing I think I've seen in this game. I mean, it did do damage to him and he knocked them over, but it's, what? It's not even that, po it's not even that powerful. You can't call something a rail gun. And then it not do things. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid. Of, <laughs> let's get rid of him for a second. And let's just get a bunch of melons, and we'll see how powerful it is. Maybe that thing's really tough. So maybe it can go through a whole bunch of melons though. And let's throw a pumpkin in there just for good luck. Okay, this better go through all these guys. Okay, that's a little better. It went through a whole bunch of melons. Okay, so maybe that guy's just really powerful. Let me uh, get some more melons. No, I think that's a pretty good test for right now. <laughs> he, it, it can't actually go... That guy's just really powerful. That's all it is. What are you doing? Looks like a normal, ordinary melon, huh? Doesn't it? Nope, you're wrong. This is Shredder. Oh, yeah. Not like the Ninja Turtle Shredder. He's just... What? Oh, <gasps> oh, yeah. I remember what Shredder does now. Hold on. You guys, Shredder has a special ability. He can actually do something pretty cool. Let me get a regular melon. Okay, regular melon. Look, he's the same size. But what regular melon doesn't have is this. Wait, that. Wait, what? what? No. How could you? How could you? How could you say that and then not actually have? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me look this up and I'll show you what it's supposed. First of all, there's a huge problem in this game. Look at this. 5,000. Do you know how much money that is? Do you know how much money 5,000 is? Oh, look, you gotta be, you gotta buy $65 worth to get that, right? Look at this fat guy. 
I'd like to play with that fat guy, but I'm not spending $900, 900 coins worth. They, they've ruined the workshop. Shredder. No. If, why is it that every time I type something in, it doesn't show up? Look. Let me, let me, let me look, look, let me make sure it's spelled right. Shredder, right? That's the right word. Shred oh, maybe is it capital? Is it capitalized? Nothing. Okay, so never mind. I can't even show you. Anyway, it said that the guy has like superpower punching that like creates shockwaves and clearly it doesn't. It must just be RP. That was very disappointing. I'm going to blow up some broccoli. This right here is apparently an ice grenade and it better work. It says it freezes them. So better freeze them. That's all I got to say. F let me just blow some broccoli up, please. Oh, it's going to work. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it beat two times. Oh, it beats again. Oh, what the heck? Oh, look at that. It actually froze them. Yep. Frozen solid. Uh, whoa, okay, so that's actually cool. Why did it beep so many times? I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Hold on, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of them, and we're gonna set them all off at the same time, and we're gonna, first of all, hear what it sounds like, and then two, we're gonna see what it does. Okay, there, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Okay, it's gonna be wonderful. Hopefully, cre <laughs> that was way different sounding, so it was so fast, that, it was very anticlimactic. So we should use the lava bomb. Oh! <laughs> Sometimes I forget how powerful things are. Whoa, I got an achievement that says hypothermia? Wait. Oh, interesting. Because I froze them and then I caught them on fire? Oh, wow. I didn't know there were achievements in this game. Oh, no. Apple has turned against his cousin, Apple. <laughs> Apple is very mad at Apple. And Apple is going to destroy Apple with this plasma knife, which is brand new. Can he do? Can he do any? Wait, does it actually poke him? What does it do? Does it cause problems? Oh my! Oh my! We're making applesauce quick over here. Harry, let me help you out, dude. Why did he just totally like disintegrated? What? What the heck? Why did you do that? Hold on, let me just. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! How did that happen? Let me. Let me just mess around a little bit with it and there we go and just a little bit more maybe right in the tuckus area there we go a little bit right there right right not in the not in the spinal cord right there we go we got his butt that time that's what i like to see applesauce for days we've seen bobby bear hug we've seen bubba bubba fant we've seen hoppy hopscotch we've seen catnap and nightmare catnap now dog day has come to the game and we're gonna see what kind of chaos he creates he's not nearly as big as some of his uh predecessors shall we say maybe not predecessors but other characters uh he's a little bit smaller but he does have these big oh ooh, big old giant hands to touch him with hello oh i can't he can't actually grab him he could eat him though probably let's see if he can eat him and oh yeah he's eating them yeah what about kicking him can he can he actually step on him yeah no he can't step on him but he can definitely i think he can butt bomb him let me see if he can butt bomb him. oh crap what's happening whoa whoa <laughs> okay wait a minute uh it turns out that dog day is quite the dancer oh no there's red juices melon juices flowing something horrible happened we don't i can't even see what happened turns out he like exploded into a thousand pieces and the shock look at all this what is all the shock wave has caused the game to almost crash and for watermelon to become juices that's usually how it goes with these things they don't work that well <laughs> things bad things happen very quickly i just wanted to see if he could take his fat booty and just crush him with it oh yeah this is how you make applesauce. You know, like the great presses? Oh, no. You know, like the great presses back in the day? Well, what they didn't tell you was they didn't just use their feet. They also sat in it and, and created some d delicious juices. Well, kind of like apple here. I feel like a mess after this one. <laughs> this is some weird stuff. And please change the workshop. Fix the workshop. 
So uh, not everything costs money. No one, no one in their right mind is buying this. Ten thousand, yeah, ten thousand dollar dog day, uh, because you know that makes sense. Ten thousand, ten thousand of those when I have one for free. That's, I'm sure that one's so much better than that thing. Uh oh, some brand new creepy things have come to Melon Sandbox. Let's just say it's gonna be a good video. I'm sure by now you all know who Catnap is, but I don't know who this is. Who the heck is Bobby Bear Hug? Look at this crazy thing. I have never heard of Bobby Bear Hug until right now, but apparently he's very dangerous looking and he's a weird mutated form of catnap, I guess. And he's got big old gigantic claw thingies. Oh, he's gonna, okay, he can't grab, okay, he can't grab him, but maybe he can eat him. Yeah. Oh, he, what the heck happened? Welcome to the game where everything breaks instantaneously and watermelons burst into a million pieces randomly. Since Bobby seems to uh, be having some serious mental issues, I think we ought to go check someone else out. This is banana and this is a mint. This game's got everything we can need now. We've got fruit, vegetables, candy, desserts, and now we got some breath fresheners. Anyway, that's mint and this right here is the brand new cameraman laser gun and we're about to find out what's inside of a mint when you or i should say what a mint ha looks like when you melt it down to nothing let's start with the toes shall we okay yeah oh a little brutality there look at that laser coming out of there it's actually not doing a ton of damage apparently Mints have seeds inside. Who would have thought that, huh? Uh, that, that is not at all the damage that I was expecting from the cameraman laser gun. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but he is got red juices inside. You know, Pear, this is kind of a first for the game. We've seen, you know, whole creatures, but never partial ones, like Dog Day. It's dog day. Look, he's, he's pretty freaking amazing. And apparently in these little mitts here, he's got some claws. And so I need to see if I can somehow damage pair with him. If I, oh, look, look at how he, look at how he moves. Did you see that? Watch him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get, look, he's, oh, he's creepily hopping along and he's smashing. Smashing pears down. Oh, he didn't actually get crushed. Pear, I think you might need a weapon to see if you can fight against Dog Day. Oh, I know. How about the golden hammer? Let's go ahead and drop that. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that thing. That is a little bit beyond what I thought it was going to be in terms Can but just pick it up. Pick it up at that size. He can't. How great would it have been if he could have wielded that thing? He, he's... He still can't grab- Why? He grabbed Dog Day's hand! What the heck? <laughs> Give him that back! What are you doing? Okay, since Pear's being a bad boy and, and grabbing random things, let's use it on him. Oh! Man, that was a- Oh! Oh, Dog Day's trying to eat him! Back up, Dog Day! You can't be grabbing him yet. You're not- It's not ready to eat. There. Now it's ready to eat. Go ahead and gobble him up. This is a golden human. He's the normal size. This over here is the undead drill titan. Oh man. But he's not really a titan if you're the same size as a normal human. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. But he does have these big claw hand thingies. And I wonder if these fingers can pierce through the golden skin of a golden man. Let us try it out. Blech. Nope, it's very... What about his drill head? Nope, not gonna work. It seems as though Drill Titan is an actual person. And maybe in a costume. And so I wonder if I give Golden Boy over here a uh, brand new weapon. If he'll be able to take care of... Dude, what was that beeping on that? If he'll be able to take care of the Drill Titan. It might not look like much, but this little green thing right here is actually a weapon. It's the melon hand gun. Oh, <laughs> I really hope that it shoots out watermelons, but I'm gonna assume not 
But maybe it'll be super powerful. Let's see what happens. Why is it pewing? It's pewing at us! <laughs> I love it! I don't know what's gonna Oh, he- Oh, he's leaking! He's leaking antifreeze fluid! <laughs> this little thing is awesome. Hey, it's actually decently powerful. But maybe the Drill Titan is actually too strong. And he's not able to take damage. Let's put a normal person out. Like a water boy. And let's see if the little watermelon boy takes damage. Oh yeah. The watermelon boy is getting destroyed. So it turns out that the Drill Titan is actually pretty powerful. But can he withstand the strongest weapon of all time? I could not believe in myself when I found this out. But this right here. Oh wait, do we discover that this might not be the strongest thing? Last time? The magic wand? That there might be another one? I can't remember. Anyway, corn's got it. And it's still pretty powerful. So let's see what happens now. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> he instantly either disappeared or got shot across the map. Let's see if we can find his his body somewhere. I can't. So let's let's follow his body and his head instead. No, oh. it he got literally he, he's disintegrated. He got disintegrated because uh, I, it stopped following instantly. And look, that's Corn's head over here. This is Corn. How did Corn get destroyed? Corn's body somehow over here. The wand is too much. Okay. Okay. This next thing is beyond what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be small. Turns out it's massive. Check this out. That? What do you What do you think this thing is right here? I'll give you one hint. It's from cat, the Catnap universe. From Poppy Playtime universe. He is extremely tall. It's Bubba. Bubba Elephant. Look. Look at him. Yes. I did not even expect him to be this tall, but he is, and he's freaking awesome. And these things better crush that stinking cherry. Oh, man. Because he's so big and he's made of so many parts, he, he he's, he's, doesn't have collision. But his head at least can eat stuff, which is always good. But the real question is, do I have... What? What happened to him? Does he just get infected? He has a black square in his chest? I have no idea what just occurred. Oh, uh, something is freaking out though. Cherry, it's gonna be okay. Because the giant laser cannon is here. The only problem is though, and maybe with his other- This arm's broken. So maybe I can- Can grab his other arm? Can you pick that up? There he goes. That should- I, I think let's- I think Bubba- Bubba's about to have some problems maybe. Let's see if he can withstand this. Oh yeah, collision. Let's go for the- Okay, wait. <laughs> it's alright, man. You just stand there. You don't need arms. It's okay. Let's aim for the face this time. Oh! Oh yeah, right in this dome. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this shot spread. Oh! Somehow able to withstand that? That's crazy! So we have breath mints. We've got candy. We've got desserts. We've got fruit. we got vegetables. We also have whatever the heck this thing is. It's just called fruit. Don't trust something. I wouldn't eat anything that's just called fruit, okay? But I would eat some jello, which this, I think they it said it's jelly. But this head all, looks a lot like jello to me. Anyway, jello or jelly here is brand new, which is pretty cool. I like him. But like always, we need to see what's inside jello or jelly because there should be, you know, it's just crushed up stuff. And uh, fruit over here has a brand new weapon. Look! <laughs> I like the look of this thing. It's called the Seed Spitter. The Seed Spitter, uh, I have no idea what it does, but I hope it spits seeds. That's all I gotta say. Let's uh, see what happens. Three, two, one. What? Where are the seeds? Oh! oh there are seeds! There are seeds in there! Can we see it? Look! Look at the seed! It's shooting speed seeds out! Hey, that's cool! It's actually true to its name. I like it. I like it a lot. And, uh, Jelly, jelly apparently has some really kind of gross looking liquid. I don't know. I think this jelly has gone bad. Jam apparently does not last forever. Uh, and why is his leg like that? <laughs> that's weird. There is a new fruit. And I don't know if I should be grossed out or freaked out or what. 
But this is a little weird. This is cranberry. Why does cranberry have three heads? What has happened? That there are, I mean, they come in clusters like this on a on a on a branch or something. You know, people like crush them up with their feet and stuff, like in those, you know, in the where you get them from the water. Wait, isn't there? Aren't they like grown in the water or something? I don't know. I don't know enough about cranberries, but I don't eat them because they're kind of gross tasting, a little little too uh, like you know bitter, soury, to tasting to me. Anyway, cranberry. Uh, you know, it's good. You know, it's better than cranberry. A pop tart, <laughs> cyan cat. Uh, if you don't know cyan cat, which has been a while since we've seen it, cyan cat is a weapon, a weapon of mass destruction, <laughs> a weapon unlike some things we've seen. And so I think in order to get a good feel for weapon for this thing as a weapon, we're gonna get a whole bunch of these and get them all out. Okay, get a whole bunch of cranberries. Drag them out here, and then watch the fireworks happen. Here you go. Here's your nine cat pop tart epic awesomeness in three, two, one. Here, goodbye. <laughs> I love it. It is. Look, there's three of them. There's a triple skull. Freaking weird. Cyan cat is covered in pink liquid. Anyway, Cyan cat says, "Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff." Cyan cat will see you in the next one.